Good evening, boys and girls. We have been graced by another beautiful bit of logic from James Freeman, your favorite sovereign citizen. This is titled, You're Trespassing in a Public Park During Park Hours, Albuquerque Police. And what we have here is the arrest of a young man by the Albuquerque police. And James is concerned that it, uh, it may not be a valid arrest because uh, they demanded this young man's information and he gave them false information. He, they, he gave them a fake I ID, a fake name. And so they arrested him for giving a fake name. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is going on, and I'll leave a link to the video so that you yourself can be informed by James Freeman himself as to what James Freeman thinks is going on. But I want to point you to this thing right here. It says, notice, no trespassing, loitering, soliciting on this property. This other one says, camera from this area can be accessed by Albuquerque Police Department during the commission of a crime. Now, uh, if you don't know where we're at or what we're doing, uh, you can get some of the context somewhere in here. Uh, you can see this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, geometric pattern, multicolored geometric pattern. It looks a lot like that multicolored geometric pattern. There's your two signs. There's a bench where the gentleman where the gentlemen, plural, were sitting. There's the spot where the young man who's being arrested was sitting. That's the rock on which the third man was sitting. So see, there they are right there. Here's another bench with another rock, another rock, another bench. Now, this picture was taken from uh, April of 2019. So there have been some changes. There is now another mural right here under Wilson pool. But if you watch the video close enough, see, you can see the bottom of the Wilson pool sign. If you watch the video close enough, you can pick it up. Anyway, he does give you the address, but I figured it out because that's the kind of guy I am. So what do we have here at Wilson pool? Well, first of all, let's figure out what Wilson pool is. Uh, Wilson Pool is an outdoor swimming pool located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's located within Wilson Park. It is located in Wilson Park. And the hours are Saturday through Thursday from 12 to 5 p.m. and on Friday from 12 to 7.30 p.m. Now, Wilson Park itself is open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day, as opposed to the pool, which has much more limited hours. Now, uh, you can see there's the park, there's the pool, there's the park, there's the pool, grass, no grass, grass parking lot. You see there's even this funny little chain link fence kind of separating the pool area from the park area. This sign right here that you can't really see uh, talks about dogs have to be on a leash, pick up after your dogs, etc., Doop. Park closed between the hours of uh, t 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Keep your park clean, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff, right? Reclaimed water, do not drink. Lovely neighborhood. So you've got a pool and you've got a park. They're two different things, two different hours of operation. Now, we know when he was there because you can see right here, 1015 at 1846. When he first arrived, it is uh, 1015, so it's October 15th at 641. 1800 is six o'clock. So it's six in the evening, 641 in the evening. Now, if you look at October 15th, that's a Thursday. See, Thursday, October 15th. So the park would indeed be open. The pool on Thursday closed at five. So we're an hour and 41 minutes after the pool closed. So you can see where James is running into a variety of problems here with this little scenario. So we've got a no trespassing sign. We have a young man who's being, who's right in front of the no pre trespassing sign who has been sitting there quietly. You can see him sitting there. I mean, he was there 
from the beginning of this. It's not like he just meandered into the area. These guys were sitting out in front of the pool. Well, they kind of see it, Wilson Pool. Uh, they were sitting out in front of the pool drinking beer. Now, what it all happens, I don't know. We go from this nice clear camera. So remember, when he gets there, it is, it is 1841. So it's 641. And then they're arresting him. They're arresting the young man. And, and then it switches, and now it's 1845. What happened? See, where I came from, from four and a half minutes, can't really be condensed down into two and a half minutes unless there's been some editing. But he says, oh, I just switched. So we don't know what's missing. There are missing things. But James, being the good propagandist, is trying to cover it. Unfortunately, he left timestamps. So something's happened. We don't know exactly what. Now, what all happened, I don't know. The, uh, the gentleman with the beer go down the road. Uh, I believe he's actually walking with his beer. Uh, I believe he's actually carrying his beer. Let's see if I can advance this forward a little bit. Yep, so he's got his beer in his hands. He's got his Heineken's in his hands. So the cops let these guys go, let these two gentlemen go, who decided to identify themselves, apparently. They let them go with their beer. They were sitting out. They were trespassing. They were drinking beer in public, generally not legal. I don't know about in Albuquerque, but I'm just guessing the drinking beer in public is probably not a legal thing to do. But they were doing it, and the cops let them go. I would guess... The whole purpose of this getting their information was to give them a citation for trespassing. But it seems like a pretty reasonable stop. Now, what about the young man? What about the young man? The young man was carrying a meth pipe, a remote control, a toothbrush, apparently two toothbrushes. Looks like a razor. Nice. Got to stay clean. Couple pencils. He's got the lighter. I mean, just your standard meth head kind of thing. So, you know, it's really sad, James, that a young meth head who was blatantly trespassing and who blatantly gave the cops false ID and was carried paraphernalia. You know, it's just it's just too bad that somebody like him was had to be taken off the streets and processed so they get his full identification and his full criminal history and all that other fun stuff. It's just sad. But he wasn't trespassing in a public park during park hours. He was trespassing at a pool after the pool was closed, sitting almost directly in front of a no trespassing sign. This is not police brutality. This is not the police overreaching. This is not the law gone wild. This is just a simple trespassing violation with a giving false ID tacked on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.